Welcome to the Border Collie, and I'm here with a video with a room. Um, today I'll be doing a rabbit cage tour. Um, hello, rabbit. Hello. Yes. Um, so I don't really know where to start. So this is Rue's room's free range in a room to start with. So she jumps up on that bed, she jumps up on this bed, she jumps under all of the dressers and beds. No, she can't fit behind there. The wires are all up here where she doesn't touch them. And she can't fit into anything back there. And if you're upset that this is not rabbit safe wood, she's never chewed it. And if she did, I would do something about it. But I've never had an issue with it before. So, let's start off. Are you following me? Uh, um, back here she has her tidy house thing. It just has newspaper on the bottom, which has never been changed because she's never peed or anything in there. And she has a towel. She also has a towel in there. Very. And she has a water bottle there, which is filled every day because it's really small and it's a really bad water bottle. She uses water bottles. It's like one of the cheap $5 ones. So then she, for her base cage, it's a pen. Hello. And... A carpet and a tablecloth on top. Tablecloth's all screwed up. But yeah. So let me see you can look in there a little better. Yeah, it's not anything. So then she she used to have her hay box right there, but she didn't look that. And that is broken. I think I need another one. She has this cereal box right here. But has a cardboard tube in it apparently and um sometimes I put hay or vegetables in here and it's chewed at the top. She also has this thing. It's made of willow. She loves it. It was two sides. She ate the other side and as you can see there's no twigs of the remaining side. She ate it. <laughs> and she has two, oh no, she, yeah, she, there's the other one. These, um, this one's broken. But, they were the, um, DIY carrot shoes that you can find on Stormy Rabbit's channel. It's a great channel. She has another cardboard tube there. She really doesn't have much. She has Timothy hay. She does not have any vegetables or pellets out right now because she ate them all. But it's a really simple setup. And she's really happy. She, the door's over there. We let her out. Not every day because she's free range to run in a room, but occasionally, a couple times a week. She really goes under all of these things. So it's not like it's, <laughs> it's not like it's an issue with her nothing to play with. She has toys. I'm not rich, so. Hello, friend. Better. Oh, um, the door on the other side has bells on it, so she knows when somebody comes in or leaves the room because she, when somebody comes in, she'll normally hear the bells and come up towards the door. She's really friendly. Sometimes I sleep on the bed right here. She's gonna come up and jump on me in the middle of the night. It's really yeah. What else did I want to say? Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, this is not Rue's permanent setup. Um, it was not clean recently either. She's fairly well litter box trained. I swept up her. She had like three little poops on the floor. But she's fairly well litter box trained. I don't think she's spayed because she is a rescue rabbit. But if she she is not, then we do plan on getting her spayed because they do not tattoo rabbits, which so it's really hard to tell. Well, she's so friendly. She's not going to come and get it because I'm sitting right here. She wants it though. Look at her. She says no. Yeah, so this is this month's cage tour. 
it'll be different because she has I, my previous rabbit receives was a Holland Lock, and he had a massive cage. The pen is from the cage. That's why it's not a four foot by four foot pen. Three, because it connected to a cage. Because one side was the cage. So it's three grids. One, two, three. That's four feet. But one of the grids is right here. And then how it works is then there's the cage across here. So it works out really well. But you'll probably see that in future videos. So yeah, that's all for today.